Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. Here with favourites today, it is May favourites. Uh, I feel like I have quite a good amount of favourites for the month of May. I tend to sort of go back and look at Instagram and see what I was just going nuts over and took heaps and heaps of pictures of and what I was using the most, kind of like empties but I guess not really. Plus I do more fashion favourites anyway but let's get straight into it because I have quite a few. So first up I'm drinking a big coffee in my T4 mug from L&M. It's just my Nespresso and I am having a cheeky finger lamington. These are so delish. This may be my second or third for the day but they are so yum so yeah lamingtons totally australian uh on my nails i have just had them done and i have opi's black cherry chutney this is probably my ultimate nail polish and on my lips is still essence lip liner in the nude number 11 people had been asking as i said in my last couple of videos and that is still on my lips at the moment let's get into this with a beauty obviously obviously if you follow my channel and my videos this zhuzh has been on constantly i want to say almost every video definitely for the month of may it's lashes i did feel as though lashes would come into my life at some stage i i had mentioned it i just didn't really know when i was ready for them <laughs> and obviously i just dove into it and one last favorites just did it just put them on and it was on i I'm so addicted to lashes. I'm finding them far easier to get on. There's less, you know, casualties, as I say. These are currently what I am doing. These are my big glam eyes at the back. They're a little bit thicker. I have a pair from Sports Girl here, and then we have the ones I showed you from Kmart, which I have on now, Victoria's, and these are a pair of Ardell Glamours. I tend to go for, as you can see here, very wispy and large just because I feel a dramatic kind of lash when I just put the more everyday ones on they don't really do anything for me as I said I'm kind of a bigger girl or I just I feel like the more dramatic eye is is worth sticking an eyelash on for anyway so that is my George the lashes are definitely a favorite for this month because it's just been all month uh, all month long and then super handy for the month of May has been this little beauty. I did show it in a haul. I want to say, am I a haul? Or one of my hauls. I'll link it below. And it's a cylindrical, it's a cylinder sharpener. So you stick the, sh you stick the pencil in the bottom there and the sharpenings go into the top there like so. It's kind of like an actual pencil sharpener. Sharpener. Sounds so funny a school pencil sharpener as opposed to you know thinking that you only do it for your lip liners or eyeliners that are pencils here is my current in the nude that I'm using so I'll just show you it does sharpen it you stick it in like so and sharpen it it does sharpen the tip quite um, small and sharp which I mean I don't mind the last one I had sharpened it long and sharp if that makes sense it's more small and sharp which I don't mind but what I love is that the base that it goes into is so tight it's not just falling off and the pencil sharpenings are going everywhere this is my current eyeliner obsession the worst part is is that it's rubbed off so holding it up to the camera is pointless but I need to hold on an angle to read it so it's the L'Oreal Paris Colorish Le Smoky trying to find the number oh 204 brown fusion it's rubbed off it's in gold foil for god's sake who who puts it in gold foil so that every time you're touching it and doing your eyes you're rubbing it off that's not very good they need to rethink that for marketing purposes 
This is in the brown because I wear brown during the day. I'm going back and getting the black. It do, I'm not going to lie, it does smudge off into my under eyes a lot and I'm finding myself sort of wiping black away and get it all over my fingers. But the smudge on the bottom is good for that. You can sort of smoke it out. So today we have kind of Arabic eyes because we used the smudger on this to really make the almond shape. And this is just so intense and I love a really intense in the waterline when it's really dark. Check this out, the L'Oreal Colorish for sure. Lastly for makeup, is it? I don't know. Yes. Is This is a new in the nude, but obviously it's what I have been wearing and I've got to put it in my favorites. You guys, I all I wear is these Essence lip liners all over my lips. If you have not got Essence lip liners, go online, essence.com. Dot au I think or well, essence.com and I'm sure they ship worldwide these lip liners are so smooth and creamy they stay on really nicely there's so much sorry there's a lot of glare it's quite glare it's quite glary um, for you to see they stay on they're smooth and creamy I'm you know I try to be a lipstick girl and I just know that it doesn't always always work but these lip liners to me they're easy I don't like too much cake on my lips and I feel like these are just lovely and they're great color payoff and they're so smooth and lovely and creamy okie doke that is it for makeup let's move on to fashion these guys are so cute been wearing them heaps did a post on them on Instagram in an all black outfit when the husband comes home Hi, I'm filming. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> totally set the outfit off. They are kind of, I guess, inspired Timberlands or Caterpillars, but they are from Ruby Shoes. You have seen that I bought a few Ruby Shoe pairs of shoes. Ruby Shoes. There they are. I bought them in a size 40. They are really comfortable. I am loving flats. I think I've said that before. I don't invest in high-end shoes other than my two Chanel espadrilles. But I just, you know, these are fun and they jazz up an outfit. It's got like faux leather on the top here. They're just like a synthetic fabric but they look exactly like the suede leather that caterpillars have. And yeah, super comfortable and super cheap and cheerful. I think they were like $29 from Ruby Shoes. Gonna throw him in right here. I know I said in my video with Victoria that this was one of my favorites, but I have to throw it in, in my actual May favorites. You guys, if you want to invest in a high-end sunglasses holder, not just the sunglasses, because I'm sure you all may or may not have high-end sunnies, but a sunglasses holder, this is the one. Not only is it super small bag, downsizing friendly because it is soft, as I said with my video with Victoria, it fits nicely, you know, in my boy bag and things like that. But as she said, it is quite protecting in the sense that it's quite sturdy and solid because the canvas is that firmer uh, fabric to protect. And then you've got the lovely microfiber lining down inside to protect your sunglasses. In it, at the moment, I have my Celine Large Shadow Sunnies. Bam! Look at that. We'll wear those for a second. And then it's got the lovely gold hardware button there. And it's just such a nice piece. Uh, kind of how the multicolor makes you really happy. It's smiley. This does the same thing, but it's just housing your sunnies. And uh, I can't, I don't think I can rave enough about it. If you were considering it, if it is still available online in your country, try it out, see if you like it. If you can see it in, in a store, in a boutique, go in and try it out. I know that there was like scarce amounts left in Australia, but again, the sunglasses holder in the MM size and then there's the PM size, which is a little bit shorter uh, and slimmer, I think, and that's good for reading glasses uh, in the monogram. 
but this is totally a favourite. It's been with me every day inside my bag and just a fantastic little item. Sticking with Vuitton in this dust bag, which is actually a shoe dust bag that, <laughs> that Serena gave me. Again, I did show it in my favourite uh, items of Vuitton with Victoria, but this shawl, monogram shawl in the Amarant is definitely in there for my favourites. Just definitely. The colour is just to die for in this shawl. If you are a purple or cranberry or you know raisiny type of colourway lover, if you love those dark deep maroony tones, you know quite fallish, go and check this out. I know the monogram has an array of colours. The monogram shawl, not the denim monogram shawl as much, but the just the plain monogram shawl. They have an array of colours, brighter, darker, black, grey, white, cream, and then this is the Amarant. And in person I thought, oh you know it's going to be too purple. Again, it shows up quite purple, but Really, it's just like that Bordeaux kind of beautiful burgundy in person. It's really rich and just beautiful. I feel like I have no idea where I'm up to. Where am I up to? Okay, this is where I'm up to. This guy. So this is my new, what would we call it, jacket? So this is my new jacket, coat should we call it? These are everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. My husband likes to call it a dressing gown, but <laughs> these are those wide collared, relaxed kind of felt uh, looking um, coats that are just going around everywhere. The Chloe one was the biggest hit ever that the Kardashians wore, you know, a couple of years ago or a year ago and now they're just sort of everywhere but they are just so cosy and comfortable. This fabric is just warm and comfortable. This coat is from Cotton On. It is more of a cheap and cheerful. I still have the tag on it. I've been wearing it with the tag. It came in at $79 and I have it in a large and it has the nice tie around it and it's just so cozy and comfortable. It completes the outfit as well. Love the colour in this tanny kind of camel colour. Been rocking it a lot on Instagram lately. Okay, lastly, the last item and then it's over. I had to put this in here because I need to be true to my favourites and this definitely was a favourite, obviously, in the month of May. It was so pimped out on Instagram, I just couldn't stop taking photos of it. I have done many <laughs> videos on this bag, I will link them all below. But this is the Pochette Matisse in Monogram canvas and uh, the first original model. And it's just, look, it is just stolen my heart. It is such a handy, useful bag. I've raved about it, I'm not going to go over it again. Uh, but this is definitely a favourite from the month of May. Haven't put it down. Crossbody gem. It's just, yeah, your best friend kind of thing. It's a best friend bag. That's what it is. So definitely check out the Posh MTs if you're thinking about it. I know I say it every video, but trust me, bonza. Hokie dokie. That is everything in my May favourites video. And what do I have coming up? Thank you so much for your response on my second last video, my mini haul from Louis Vuitton. I really enjoyed that video and what I think I'm going to start doing is doing different topics in one video rather than, I think I've got to a point now in my, you know, in my YouTube channel where I can cover a few topics in one video rather than just leaving the video for only one topic. It's more interactive that way and everybody seemed to enjoy that. Uh, going over some sub mail, a bit of a haul and going over my Samorga, sorry, purse organizer. Oh my God, that purse organizer is amazeballs. Check it out if you haven't. I will leave the link to the video below. Uh, but yeah, I might start doing that in videos, a few parts to a video. It's a little bit more 
interesting for your viewing experience. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video guys. I hope everybody is doing really well. If you enjoyed it and you have May favourites, let me know what they are in the comments below what you've been loving for the month of May. If you love the items I chose, give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Take care. Peace.